everybody. Um, today we'll be showing you how we're going to cut the neck of the the neck and the ammo of the front. We already placed our pattern to cut it, just like our pattern. So I'm just going to take it over to the sewing machine and join according to the shape. So just join us to the back. You can see. So this is the front. This is the front. This is the front. I'm going to pick one side, front facing one side like this. So I'll just run according to the shape like that at both sides. So just do your shape. So we finished joining it now. You can see the pumping out of the bus area. But I've not had anything. No, I just joined it because I want to cut out the neck. So I'm just going to fold into two. So just do yours to the back. I folded into two. I'm going to take my shoulder length, which is 15, divide into two. That's seven and a half. And this is it. So I will mark my seven and a half here. Now remember we took the wideness of the neck at the back 3 inches. So I'm just going to mark where 3 inches is. This is the wideness of my neck. I will bring it down with about 3 inches more. So I will just connect the line. Please, I'm using a free hand to connect it to. So this is my neck line. The barrel shock showing. Okay, so now we took the shoulder which is seven and a half, and then um, from that seven and a half, we minus three inches for our neck. Now we're going to take our arm O from this very mark here, where my shoulder stop. I'm going to take my arm O eight inch, which I'll mark here. So I'm just going to connect my my shoulder also. Please, I'm using free hand. If you are not used to free hand, you can just make a pattern for your arm or just do it the way you understand so this is my arm o. then I'm going to slant my shoulder remember we also slant the, sh the shoulder with a um, half inch so that is it so now I'm going to cut it out according to my shape so just do your to the back cut it out so as you can see um if you want to make a transparent um, stuff which is like the yolk style on top then i will i want to cut it out but in case you don't want to have that transparent part you are good to go to work with this one but me i want my top to be transparent so i i might decide to make it tube so from here now from this top here to here i can decide to take my remember our top um so that the top of bus was seven so this is seven here now i want to chop out that seven from this my arm o i'm gonna do something i took eight so i'm gonna take like five inch for my arm o from the front so from top here so yeah i'm taking five inch then I'm going to slant like a sweetheart curve. Can you see it? So I'm just going to trace it a little bit so that you can see it. So this is it's like a sweetheart curve. So I'll just cut it according to my shape. Now, when I want to cut that transparent part, I'm going to place this on whatever, either my lace or my vey. I'm going to place this on top and cut exactly to fill it back. But you can see it now after we've removed it. You see how it looks like. So, if I want a transparent part, I'm going to cut this one as a transparent, um, either lace or net, sequence, whatever you want to use, and sew it back to complete it. But for now, I'm going to keep this one. Now, remember, we've not add anything, so I'm just going to I'm going to lose this one back and cut my body. But you can see it already. You can see how it looks already. Even when I've not added the cup and something, you can see the shape of the busty there. So I'm just going to lose this one now to cut my body. So back. Middle. Remember, we lose the two. This is the middle we cut. 
So I'm going to fold it into two also. And then I'll just cut it like this according to the shape. So I'm just trying to make it folded edge to folded edge. So I'm also going to do the same thing too to the other side. And this is it. So remember this video is from Franka Brown Design. You can check me on YouTube. You can join my Facebook page. My YouTube is Franka Brown Design. My Facebook page is FB Sort of Shape. There we we'll get free illustration. So you can see it now. So this for the middle part. So you see the inside now. So that is that. And I'm also going to show you how I'm going to do the side too. I will still fold it. Now this side I'm folding it into two because I want to cut two at a time. Remember this side is kind of separate. But this one now, I'm not cutting it to the arm outside. side. I will just give a little space. Please let me fold my body. No waste it. So that is it. Can you see it? So I will also cut according to the shape. Now this is it. The only thing I'm just going to do is use my pen. Normally I just use my scissors so, but I just want to draw it. I'm just going to make a curve here like this to make it a little bit round. Then I'll just trim it out. So I'm having two pieces now for my two sides. So this is this is one for one side, one for one side. So Thanks very much. We use iron to iron it all, please. It's already glue on it, so I want to join it now. Front like this. So this is the front of this fabric. This is the front of this fabric. I'm just going to turn it like this. Then join from this very top side. So now I'm just joining it according to the shape I already have here. So just like what you are saying. I'll finish joining it, but I want to top stitch it to avoid the sharp edge. So this is how I do my top stitching. This seam here, I'm going to bend it to this other side. And then mash down very close to the edge. Then when I'm doing that, I'll try to open it so that my main fabric will fold on it fold inside so this I'm going to do it till I get to the end so just do your to the back alright so after top stitching you can see it now how it came out so later we'll be adding this our uh, cup to make it look more beautiful but that will be towards the ending of the whole thing so that is that now i'm going to cut out my v-shape i'll be using the back pattern to cut out my v-shape remember just like the way we cut out so place your pattern and get your v-shape to the back so now this is the pattern of my back i try to pin it at the front because of this my v-curve I don't want the front um, shape to be different from the back, so I'm just going to trim it accordingly. Yeah. 
please, I reduce my length so that's why you saw me removing this excess. So you also you can make yours any length you want. So that is that. So you can see we still have a lot of allowance on it. We still have a lot of allowance on it too. So you can see the V shape. And this is so you can see the V-shape on that it. So my flex is gonna come like this, like this. It depends. Stay tuned.